The add backside command adds a face to the back of an existing face. The backside face will have the same size as the existing face, and it will point in the opposite direction. It will also be slightly spaced apart from the existing face by about one millimeter. Faces in two-fold configuration allow you to take into account elements that are located inside the room and that are exposed by sound from both sides, such as acoustic clouds, parapets, and dividing walls. Back faces are needed because in ease, a single face can only have one acoustically active side, its front side. In order to create several back faces and change their material, you can follow these steps. Click Add Backside button. Hold the Shift key and scroll the mouse wheel to hover over a face inside the room. Then, left-click to add a back face to the hovered face. While this mode is active, you can continue adding back faces to other faces in the room. Whenever you are done, press Escape key to cancel the mode. By default, the back face will inherit the material of the existing face. In order to change the material for several back faces, first rotate the view by holding the right mouse button and drag with the mouse. Then, select the back faces using the control key. Finally, change the material for the selected faces from the Surfaces ribbon menu, 